Imagine waking up on any given morning and discovering that an entire island is literally suffocating its inhabitants with invisible and dangerous gases. We're not talking about science fiction, but something that is happening right now in the Mediterranean Sea. On the small island of Volcano, in Italy's Aeolian Islands, carbon dioxide levels have risen so alarmingly that authorities had to take drastic measures to protect the local population. Volcano is one of seven islands that make up the Aeolian Islands archipelago, located north of Sicily in southern Italy. This small island of just three square miles, eight square kilometers, is home to little more than 800 inhabitants, but its name is no coincidence. It is literally an active volcano that emerges from the crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean. What makes Volcano unique is not just its wild beauty, but the fact that it is a natural laboratory where we can observe Earth's most intimate volcanic processes. The geological history of Volcano dates back more than 120,000 years, when the first eruptions began to form this extraordinary island. Throughout the millennia, it has witnessed dozens of eruptions, the most recent recorded between 1888 and 1890. Since then, the volcano entered a period of apparent dormancy, but like any sleeping giant, it never stopped showing signs of its presence through fumaroles, hot springs, and more recently, increasing emissions of volcanic gases. The Aeolian Islands are a UNESCO World Heritage Site not only for their natural beauty, but for being a perfect example of active volcanism in the Mediterranean. Volcano, together with Stromboli and Lipari, forms a volcanic triangle that scientists have studied for decades to better understand deep magmatic processes. However, what was once an object of scientific and tourist fascination has now become a source of growing concern for the local and international community. But here's what should really keep us awake at night. Recent data shows that carbon dioxide emissions in Volcano are not just increasing, they are exploding exponentially. What does this mean for the island's residents? And more importantly, what does this reveal to us about the awakening of a sleeping giant that may be preparing for something much bigger? The first signs of Volcano's awakening began to be detected by seismographs and monitoring stations in 2021. Scientists from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology noticed a worrying pattern. Carbon dioxide concentrations in the fumaroles of Porto di Levante, the island's main degassing zone, began to rise steadily and accelerated. What were previously considered normal levels for a resting volcano quickly escalated to values that made researchers sound the alarm. To understand the magnitude of this change, we need to understand how CO2 emissions work in volcanic systems. Carbon dioxide is like a messenger from the depths of the Earth. It tells us stories about what is happening miles below our feet. When magma moves in deep chambers, the gases dissolved in it begin to separate and migrate to the surface. CO2, being lighter and more mobile than other volcanic gases, is often the first to arrive, serving as nature's early warning system. Data collected by automatic sensors revealed something extraordinary. At some points on the island, CO2 concentrations jumped from natural background levels to values dozens of times higher than normal. In certain areas near the fumaroles, meters registered concentrations so high that it became dangerous for humans to remain for extended periods. Imagine an invisible odorless gas that accumulates in terrain depressions like a silent blanket of risk. What makes this situation even more intriguing is the temporal pattern of emissions. It's not a gradual and constant increase, but pulses and waves that suggest a volcanic system in transition. Scientists discovered that emissions follow intensity cycles, alternating between periods of relative calm and sudden bursts of gaseous activity. This erratic behavior is characteristic of magmatic systems that are reorganizing internally, possibly preparing the ground for more significant changes. But here's the real mystery that keeps volcanologists awake. These emissions are not happening in isolation. Seismic data shows a subtle but perceptible increase in micro seismic activity beneath the island. Deformation sensors detected small but measurable changes in ground shape. And geochemical analyses of gases revealed alterations in isotopic composition that suggest a deeper and more recent magmatic source. All these signs point to a single disturbing possibility. A volcano may be awakening from its long sleep. In September 2022, the situation in Volcano reached a critical point that forced Italian authorities to make an unprecedented decision. CO2 measurements exceeded all established safety limits, reaching concentrations of up to 5% by volume of air in some areas of the island, a level that can cause loss of consciousness and represent a life-threatening risk within minutes. The response was immediate and dramatic. 
partial evacuation of the population, and closure of entire areas of the island to public access. The epicenter of this atmospheric crisis is the Porto di Levante area, where a volcano's main fumaroles have been releasing their gases for millennia. In this region, sensors registered CO2 concentration peaks exceeding 10%, lethal levels that transformed previously safe landscapes into invisible exclusion zones. Carbon dioxide, being heavier than air, accumulates in natural depressions, craters, and valleys, creating gas traps that can be fatal to any unsuspecting person. Local residents, many of whom are descendants of generations who lived on the island, were forced to abandon their homes within days. Entire families had to leave behind not only their properties, but an entire way of life built in harmony with the volcano. The island that for decades was a paradise for tourists, seeking thermal waters and unique volcanic landscapes, suddenly became a hostile environment where every breath can be dangerous. The international scientific community responded by mobilizing unprecedented resources to monitor and understand the phenomenon. State-of-the-art equipment was installed throughout the island, creating a network of sensors that continuously measures not only CO2, but also other volcanic gases, such as sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and radon. Drones, equipped with specialized sensors, fly over dangerous areas, collecting data that would be impossible to obtain by traditional means. It's as if Volcano had become an ICU patient, constantly monitored by a global medical team. But the most shocking discovery came through advanced isotopic analyses of emitted gases. Results revealed that CO2 is not just coming from heated sedimentary rocks, as initially suspected, but has a clear chemical signature of deep magmatic origin. This means that the increase in emissions is directly connected to the movement of fresh magma in the volcano's underground chambers. In other words, Volcano is not just releasing old gases, it is being fed by active magmatic material that may indicate a new eruption is approaching, potentially the first in more than 130 years. The story of Volcano forces us to confront an uncomfortable reality about our relationship with planet Earth. For decades, we have built our lives assuming that dormant volcanoes will remain dormant, that nature will follow predictable patterns, and that our control over the environment is more solid than it actually is. Volcano's Awakening reminds us that we live on a dynamic and constantly changing Earth, where forces operating on geological timescales can suddenly burst into our daily lives with dramatic consequences. What is happening in Volcano is not an isolated event, but part of a broader global phenomenon of monitoring and understanding volcanic activity. In a world where more than 800 million people live within 62 miles, 100 kilometers, of active volcanoes, Volcano's lesson resonates far beyond Mediterranean waters. Each of us who lives near volcanic systems, whether in the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Andes, or volcanic islands scattered across the oceans, carries a responsibility to understand and respect these natural forces. The volcano community's response to the crisis also teaches us about human resilience and adaptation. Families who were forced to leave their homes did not surrender to despair, but organized themselves, supported each other, and worked with authorities to find solutions. This capacity for adaptation in the face of the unexpected is perhaps our greatest strength as a species, but it also reminds us that this adaptation is only possible when we have adequate information, preparation, and support systems. The continuous scientific monitoring of Volcano represents something greater than just volcanological surveillance. It is an investment in the safety and future of vulnerable communities. Every sensor installed, every measurement collected, every analysis performed is not just abstract science, but a concrete tool for protecting human lives. This challenged us to question, what other natural risks in our own communities would deserve the same level of attention and preparation? How many times do we assume that it will never happen here without really knowing the risks that surround us? Volcano continues emitting its gases, scientists continue monitoring every change, and life on the island remains suspended between the known and the unknown. But perhaps the most powerful lesson of this story is not in what happened, but in what it invites us to do. Embrace our condition as temporary inhabitants of a dynamic planet, invest in scientific knowledge and community preparation, and cultivate the humility necessary to live in harmony with forces that are infinitely greater than us. Because in the end, Volcano is not just an island in the Mediterranean, it is a mirror that reflects our own vulnerability and at the same time, our extraordinary capacity to understand, adapt, and persevere in the face of the unknown.